forsake him. But if I'm gonna read again, verse 19. But if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin, man. So if if you forsake her, man, if you say, "Now nah, fuck that, I can't I can't swallow that down," right? You can't eat the whole roll. I can't swallow that rape thing, man. That's too that's too uh, intense for me. She was just gonna forsake you, and she's forsaken all these guys. Isaiah, that dude's forsaken, man. Hey, he forsook the Old Testament. He forsook Yahusha. Period, man. Alize, man, you're gonna see that dude go into a into a, a spiral down the drain, man. And that's what he's doing right now. All he's doing is circling the drain, man. So it's just a matter of time. You're gonna see that dude bug out, man. You know, we see many guys bug out. When the, when the elders first came on the YouTube in 07, when I was on, on YouTube, you know, looking up the truth and studying. Man, you know how many guys came in the truth, man? He had all these guys. Yeah, Shalom, brother. Yeah, yeah, Shalom, Shalom, GMS. Yeah, GMS. Man, so many guys bugged out, man. That was like a that was like a sifting process. That was like the Navy SEALs training, man. You know, you watch those movies uh, with uh, Mark Wahlberg and the new one, uh, American Sniper. You know? They're, they're testing these dudes psychologically, physically. The guy's like, you want to quit, lady? You walk out. You know, you, you walk out right now. You know? This is not for you. And then they tell you, they, they might say, this is not for you. What the hell are you doing to get out of here to, to, to play with your mind? That's what the elders are doing, man. You know? And, and really, it's the spirit that's, that's working with the elders to do that, man. To test a lot of guys, man. Thick skin, like Elder Gabar was saying. All right? So I'm going to end it off on the scripture, Titus. You know? You, guys, you have to have thick skin, man. You think you're going to try to uh, go to the Navy SEALs, you know? And you get butt hurt because the dude says... You know, get the, get, you know, <laughs> what's that movie, Heavy Metal, uh, Full Metal Jacket, or uh, th that, that old school movie, man, that scene where the dude just teared up that guy, man, you know, you get up right now, you motherfucker, you know, put on your clothes, you know, just, just messing these guys up, but you guys, are, you, a lot of you guys are butt hurt, man, you know, because you guys are emotional, alright, so this is Titus 1 and 10. Uh, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, man. The circumcision, um, in this respect, basically going into the, the Jews that knew they were Jews. You know, the, the, the Pharisees and Sadducees, the priests and the scribes, right? They're unruly and vain, meaning empty. The word vain means empty, all right? Verse 11, whose mouths must be stopped. That's why you, why you guys say, oh, GMS, you guys get on every camp and this and that. That's our job. It says whose mouth must be stopped. You're not just going to let some dude run his mouth talking about you can do someone in the, in the ass, man. And, and, uh, you can pop your woman in the ass. All right? Or there's, this thing, or there's a thing called hell where you go up in the sky and Satan bends you over. You're not going to let a guy talk like that, man. You're going to have to uh, cut him up and warn other brothers to stay away from a guy like that. You know? You got, you got all, these, um, all these other camps, right? They don't talk about each other, man. And, and, and some of the doctrines are way out, man. But all they talk about is GMS. Why do they do that? Why, okay, we're, we're, we're talking about rape, right? And you say, oh, you guys are crazy. You guys are this and that. But you got guys teaching about hell. You're going to go to a place after you die, you know, and, and Satan's going to bend you over. Why don't you talk about that, man? Why don't you talk about um, General Yohanna talking about you can do it in the butt, man, if we're so perverse? Isn't, isn't that a sodomite act too? Isn't that a sodomite act? Doing your woman in, in anal sex? Bug outs, man, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not to for filthy lucre's sake. A lot of you guys sold out, man, and you do it for lucre's money. You do it for money's sake, man. All right, verse 12. One of them, one of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, The Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. Amen. That's the spirit. The Cretans, what is the Cre Cre um. Cretans are people that dwell on the island of Crete. So one of their own prophets the, 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 of the circumcision, they said that the Cretans are always liars. Right? And, that, and that's funny, man, because they looked at those Cretans as Gentiles when they were Jakes, man. They were Israelites. They are Israelites in that Hellenistic fashion. So that's what you say. Oh, you guys are bringing in white people, the Irish, the Sicilians, the Portuguese. The, you know, you guys seen their Moors. That's what you guys, you know, you, you guys, aren't you saying that? They're evil beasts, right? They're, they're heathens. That's the same thing that was going on back then, man. Verse 13, this witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith. That's what we got to rebuke you guys, man. And some of you guys are going to 
come back to the truth. You got guys that came out of IUIC, ICPK, Comfy's camp, and they joined with GMS. Right? Verse 14, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. So don't give heed to these Jewish fables, man. Yahana, that's a... I mean, um, well, Yohanan too, but Yeshaya, man, that dude is spewing Jewish fables, man. All kinds of madness. Right? Verse 15. Unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. Right? And they're saying, oh... Yeah, we're, we're telling you you can go rape a uh, nine-year-old woman. We never said that, man. The elders never said that. You guys are just slanderers. What we're saying is there's an ancient law in the scriptures, man, all right, where you could take a woman by force, all right? And, and what we're telling you is uh, when does a woman become a woman? You guys get all messed up over when a woman. Don't you know in New York, the, the legal marriage law was 10 at one point, man? 10 years old. Meaning a 40-year-old dude can do it, deal with a 10-year-old. All right, don't you know that? In here in in, uh, in Canada and Ontario, it, it used to be 14. They changed it, I believe, to 16 now. But it used to be 14. Right? But people look at that all messed up because you know. But but look at your grandparents. Look at your great grandparents. Some of them had kids when they were 15, 16, 17 years old, man. They were young parents, and they're still young parents today, man. You know. So you look at us as, oh, you guys are sick and perverted. But first of all, you don't know the meaning of the word rape. I'm going to keep saying, you don't know the meaning of the word rape. You don't know uh, when a woman, become, when a girl becomes a woman. Because you say pedophile. The word pedo means child. A woman that had her menstrual cycle, her flowers, and past that, all right, she's not no longer a girl, not a little girl, all right? And you guys claim we're teaching that you go out to rape. We're not teaching to go out to rape, man. There's no doctrine where we're teaching, yeah, you, brothers, you better go get that 10 year old girl you know basically you guys are slanders man that's all you guys are but your conscience is defiled verse 16 they profess that they know the most high but in works they deny him Baloo, you deny the works of the most high it's like you um in works you deny the most high you claim yeah, yeah most high yeah. you're not on the streets he told you go on the highways and byways and gather them man Put, uh, put uh, gather them into the barn, man. But you're you're not doing the works, man. You guys, a lot of you guys are taking HODC. It's back forever. What the fuck were you guys, man? It's back forever. Back from where? Back from Timbuktu. Where the fuck did you guys go? Right? You guys deny him, man. And the most likely gonna fuck you guys up, man. Most likely gonna fuck you guys up, man. All right. Being abominable and disobedient. And unto every good work, reprobate. What is the word reprobate here in the precept? Void of judgment. You guys are void of judgment, man. That's why That's why you guys took breaks. Because you guys, yeah, you know, most of them are going to mess. He's not coming. You know, he's going to come in the next 50 years. Then he started seeing the prophecies. And really, you guys are jealous of the elders, man. Because they've been out there steadfastly. They didn't take no damn breaks. And you guys did. And now, you, now you're claiming I'm back forever. I was never gone. I never stopped teaching all that bullshit, man. So with that, I want to say, um, you know, Kar Halaliyam La Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and blessings and, and honor, double honor to the uh, elders of GMS that rule well, okay, and peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, and um, yeah, man, you brothers, man, you young brothers, stop watching these other camps, man. Stop watching these other dudes trying to debunk them, debate with them. You gotta. Uh, uh, um, Root yourself first, man. You gotta be rooted. That's why there's a, uh, uh, a parable. Matter of fact, you know what? This wasn't on the plan, but this is the Spirit telling me. In Matthew's um, 13. You know? This is why there's this parable, man. Verse uh, Matthew 13, I'm gonna start at 24. Another parable putting forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. The field is the world. Right, the good seed is what? The scriptures, again. Sowed good seed. What did we go into earlier? Good doctrine. Same thing. Verse 25. But while men slept, his enemy... Oh, Salaki. No, no, no. This is... um. This is the other one. This is the tears and weeds. Uh, I'm trying to look for the other one. Yeah, this one. 13 and... Uh, let's see. 
verse 3. It's like it. Verse 13, verse 3. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them. Some fell upon stony places, where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had not root, they withered away. That's you guys, man. You know? You fell upon stony places, and it's going to tell you the stony place is basically your heart. You, 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 you caught some feel, oh, the rape thing, you know? Or, brother, there's a thing called hell, man. You're going to go, if you're wicked, you're going to go there, man. You, you fell upon your emotions. You fell upon your own uh, uh, um, understanding. That's why it says, lean not upon your own understanding. Don't be emotional. And, and it says, you guys did not have root in yourselves. And some, verse 7, and some fell up among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. And it's going to tell you, that's basically the lust of this world. All these thorns, right? But other fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some 100-fold, some 60-fold, some 30-fold. Who are theirs to hear, let him hear. And then, it's going to break it down. So I'll just go to the breakdown of Yahusha is going to break it down. Uh, verse 18, right? He says, uh, Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. Th uh, this is he which uh, this is he which received seed by the wayside. And see, you guys might hear the truth. Oh yeah, I like this. But then you might you might you might uh, watch an IUIC video and say, no, 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 no I'm going to go there. Right? Verse 20. Uh, but he that receiveth the seed into stony places, the same is that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it. Yet he hath not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth, because of the word, by and by he is offended. He also that receiveth seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word, and the care of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. But he that received seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it which also bear, beareth fruit and bringeth forth some an hundredfold some sixty some thirty you know so basically you brothers gotta um, younger brothers man just just stick to the foundation man build yourself up you know it says seek you out your own salvation man you know you gotta look out for yourself man so with that until next time Lord's will I say Shalom